I'm gonna go here where it's a bit more lighter. We are going to the gym. We're going to a place called Muscle Factory. We're hoping there's a female bar. We've looked at like photos and where they like stack the barbells. Um, there's like a taller barbell and a, and a shorter barbell. So we're hoping that there is a female barbell. If not, then we'll just do some bodybuilding um, and some squats and things. But it's a bit of a journey. It's like 44 or 43 minutes away. We're getting the BTS for the first time. Right, and yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. And we're gonna vlog it for you. We're gonna give you a review and if you're ever in Bangkok and you don't want to pay extensive CrossFit fees or you need aircon and you can't train in 33 degree heat um, we'll let you know how it is for Olympic lifting. Have we got chalk? Okay, so we've been and we've been walking for like ten minutes maybe. And we've just been walking down the street. It's so quiet that there's like nothing here except from houses and the old shop of some description. Nice bit of a walk though. I wonder how it will impact our session. Hopefully there's some um, anchor in there. We don't realise how uh, grateful we are to see a GHT because our programming always has uh, GHT setups in it, but we don't, didn't have a GHT setup machine at our gym. That's and really now, nice. They're scared of me, they're just going to upend. How was it? It was alright. It was hot and it was hard because it's like oh, the first time in what feels like forever doing something properly. Yeah. But there's just so much in there, it's insane. Yeah. Um, Oh, hold on. We'll wait for this. Uh, we, on the way here, we saw like a cool looking hotel. Well, it just looks okay. It looks nice. And right. on booking.com, it's £27 a night. So it's like literally right there. So it's less than a two minute walk to the gym. We're just going to pop in and look at this hotel and check it's like good enough. It's not car park. Okay, so that gym was sick. It was so good that we ended up choosing to stay in this hotel, which is literally next door. There's an alleyway at the bottom of this hotel that takes you in to that gym. So there's one thing that I should 
start off this review by saying is that there is no aircon. I was under the impression there would be just by the pictures and the videos, but there isn't. There's these huge fans on the top of the ceiling which makes it very windy in there, so it's not like too hot, but it's definitely not cool. Yeah, that's something to consider if you really, really can't stand the heat at all. Maybe it's not the best, but it's in like a, it's just a massive old building, kind of like a warehouse. So it does stay relatively cool. It doesn't get too hot and the fans definitely help. It circulates a lot of air. In terms of how much it is, we paid 400 baht for the day, which is about 10 pound for a day pass, which it's still quite expensive really, um, but for a week you can get it for 999 which is just, yeah, about £25. So then in terms of equipment, there was just so much equipment. As you saw in the beginning of the video, there is a female barbell, so that is like the gold standard for us if there's a barbell that I can do Olympic lifting with it just means we can follow our program there's plenty of lifting platforms they've got bumper plates we've got a lot of squat racks like dotted around the gym there's a concentration of them by the lifting platforms but there's also some in like other areas of the gym if you'd like feel intimidated to lift by the lifting platforms where the people would be like lifting um, you can always just go and hide somewhere in the corner in one and use one which I like. There's so there's so many machines, it's unbelievable. All like different brands, I like guess just everything's just been collected um, by the looks of things. Of machines that we don't even know how you would use them and we feel too embarrassed to try. Because like literally not a clue. Um, but every every single um, machine you can imagine, there's this one where you like climb up this tower and a guy was laying there and it was like a leg press in the air. It was, it was just so odd but so cool at the same time. Um, but there is no CrossFit equipment. There's a lot of strength stuff, like in terms of Olympic lifting or functional strength, like there's a sled and there's um, a yoke, which are things that we don't get. And they're like farmer carry contraptions that you put weight on each side. There's a GHD, all of that sort of stuff, but they've got one rower, which is a Concept2 rower. The screen doesn't work. There is a C2 bike. I haven't been on it, I don't know whether or not that works, and there is some sort of a salt bike looking machine, but there's only one of each, we do a workout together, and also to be honest it's probably too hot in there for us to start trying to do a workout, I think that's something we're going to have to build up the, the courage to do. The vibe in there is very friendly and there seems to be a few PTs that work there because occasionally there'll be someone like having a PT session but no, nobody's invasive but, but like nobody's like ex exclusive either like they it's just like a really friendly vibe so that's really lovely. Would we recommend this gym 100% especially if you're into Olympic lifting. As, I, as I've said, we've tried um, all of the chains, we've tried jets, we've tried fitness first. The only one we haven't tried is Virgin Active, but still all of them are very pricey gyms. And there is, in jets and fitness first, there is, we have not yet come across a female barbell, nor is it the kind of place that probably would appreciate you chucking weights around. Um, but yeah, overall, like it's a, such a sick gym. And the location on it, um, we've only been here twice now, and obviously we spent last night here, but it's, really nice like it's close enough to the city that you just get the sky train in and you're in there within like i think it's just a 20 minute journey but it's still like quite local but there is also quite a few western people here so the road we're on there is lots of nice houses and nice cars like there's a ferrari up the road but then you just go out onto the main road and there still is like so many local people and local shops and local places to eat but there is also a tesco lotus so yeah, overall, this gym, you could do with some air conditioning, that would be really helpful. Um, and it's a bit out the way, like whilst it's really nice, you defi I definitely couldn't afford the journey every day to come here, like it is out the way if you were staying in the city. If you're happy to stay this far out, then it's like, it's absolutely amazing. If all you want to do is be in Thailand and train, this is your place. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I don't know where we'll do the next, the next gym review will probably be in Chiang Mai, I think.